so I, I thought I'd make a video on the um, one of the latest uh, AI model generators. Um, I mean, there's been a number, and um, but this this is uh, I think a Microsoft one. I'll put a link to the thing. Um, they do have a. Um, I mean, I'm mainly interested in the open source stuff um, that you can run locally. But a lot of the more advanced models are, are too large that, you know, they need a data center GPU and a 100 or a 6000 or something, um, you know, not consumer available um, GPUs. So although that's a that normally if they release the weights, which I think that they have done the open source, some people have managed to quantize the model, um, the training model uh, to run on lower and hardware you know 16 24 gigabyte gpus um and it's getting a lot better i was a little bit like oh this i mean it's still not perfect right let's go and have a look at that actual model um so here's the model that i generated um and you can see the topology isn't amazing i mean you can retopologize it right um i mean you know if it's i mean there's an argument like well if it shades all right you know and um it's not animating does it really matter <laughs> right and i suppose if you're like an indian it's just like a you know mobile phone game or something then it maybe it doesn't matter uh, i don't know really i mean i'm kind of tempted just to build a whole room full of junk like this um just to, um to have sort of fun and the uvs aren't, are, aren't terrible either i mean but yeah if you if you're really like oh i want it to be subdividable or whatever or or um but yeah i yeah initially i was a bit like I don't know if people have too much to worry about with the AI stuff. And now I'm starting to thinking this isn't, I mean, the fact that you just like imagine that, you know, it's yeah, quite, I mean, obviously it's a bit of weirdness, but I don't really mind it. I think this is um, good enough for my purposes. Uh, if I wanted to make like a small indie game and there's a load of junk on the, on the shelves and stuff, um, mid ground stuff, maybe not hero assets or, you know, but um, yeah, it's sort of, you know, um, I'm also, I've been trying to, you know, there's a the whole comfy UI stuff and running all the different AI models, whether that be model generation, video generation, uh, voice generation, uh, you know, there's, there's this, just so, so much of this sort of, you know, um, stuff. and you can always, um, so a lot of the stuff goes on Hugging Face, which is like a sort of open source dumping ground where you can, and, and sometimes they set up the demos so you can give it a go, right? So let's give it a go. Um, I mean, of course, CG matters covered. <laughs> so I think this is the best one, um, but I'm always a little bit. Um, uh, I have sort of, I guess, less time for cloud-based services that use the AI because eventually they'll be like, they're like, oh, we have a credit system and you have to pay and and blah blah blah. And, and so I'm more, I'm more interested in the stuff that you can run locally. Um, and so hopefully someone will release a slightly more scaled down version that you can run on a on a regular well you know i've got a 4090 something like that or you know maybe less whatever um but um yeah i'm really impressed um and uh i mean there's a number of channels that cover this far far better than i can and, and there's also uh 10 cents uh you can see my tabs yuan video generator which is kind of sora like it's supposed to be pretty good although I've, i can't seem to get it to work uh, when we run out of gpus it's, it's like it's obviously quite popular um i mean this is obviously advantage of running it locally you're not going to have that problem right let's try again um but yeah i just like it's coming for all our jobs i mean there's like ai and animation as well um i mean there's um Oh, I forgot what it's called now. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I think it's important. To, I mean, it's such a, the problem is it's such a time sink and it can be quite painful getting some of this stuff to work locally in that you have to paste commands in the console and make sure you're using the right versions of Python and whatever. And so it can be a bit of a headache to get to work. Um, but it's only going to become more prolific. And I, I just don't think it's ignorable anymore um in terms of the quality side it's getting uh i mean i mean the video if you look at the sora video um stuff the um you know the physics is awful 
Uh, and maybe with new versions or you know updated models they can get that better or whatever right um but there's always a possibility they might not be able to <laughs> uh okay show me up now because it's not sort of um yeah i mean anyway so that was it really just a quick i mean and obviously i've been away doing the on a job and now that's come to an end and whatever and I'm, i was trying to think of interesting things to put on my channel and i think this is i'll put the link in the thing so you can have a go um i i yeah like i say i'm quite tempted just to build out build out a whole kind of i don't know man cave or something a virtual man cave uh a very yeah just just to have to have a play around um and just see, you know see how much how much i can generate in a day you know like a complete sort of environment uh you know albeit a room um i mean this is what they say when you get in, into games are and I, i'm i'm a, coming from a film vfx thing so it's it's not i don't really it's basically start with small props like a, a crate <laughs> it's a classic one right um and, and then a gun maybe um and then maybe a room a table and and then finally a character or something but i'm i'm kind of thinking how much can i um get out of the you know the ai stuff and then and then maybe go in and 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 for the hero assets go and redo them all right so um I think that's would be quite an interesting way to work. So you're kind of trying to leverage as much as you can, and then anything that's super specific or needs to be more detailed, go in and 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 adjust the model or remodel or whatever. Um, I thought it was yeah interesting idea. I mean, I know I was going on about the photogrammetry stuff, and there's also stuff where you can do. Yeah, it's it's getting quite crazy now um, in terms of what where what ai can what ai can do I and mean, especially if you're working in the creative industries uh, you know whether that be like a 3d artist or video editor or um vfx artist or something it's all getting quite mad um and i mean it's still i mean with the video generation stuff it's still difficult to control um there's thing a thing called control net which allows you to kind of input like different render passes to as a sort of method of controlling character poses or you know likeness and stuff like that. i've got other videos just f f focusing that on the sort of stills thing in, in like critter but the back end of it is using this comfy ui thing which is um uh kind of yeah anyway i'm going to stop the video because it's just turned into a bit of a ramble but yeah i just thought get this video out because it's i definitely have a look um you know if you're a modeler have a look just um to, to know what's what's on her well what's available now <laughs> i think that's it okay that's it